Hi everyone, I'm Angela Cruz with Smoky Hill Designs and today I'm going to talk to you about which of our materials your diode laser can and cannot cut. So we get this question quite a bit lately. It seems like everybody got diode lasers over the holidays and just in general because they are generally a lower price laser. They're a great intro laser, um, but there are some limitations, but do not let that stop you. I'm going to show you just how many things you can cut. Don't get discouraged. I'm hearing that quite a bit where um, there's some regret over getting a diode. There's no need to have regret. We'll show you some workarounds and we can show you all the different products. And this is kind of a situation of, do you want the good news or the bad news first? But since I don't have anybody to ask, I'm going to give you the bad news first. That way we can end on a nice positive note. So let me go through the materials that you cannot cut with your diode, no matter what tricks you hear. I've heard some people say, if I mask both sides, I think it'll cut. It won't. Don't give in to the hype. It won't do it. So this is a product, this is a pattern ply on clear acrylic. You cannot cut clear acrylic, whether it's raw, whether it has a pattern, whether you get a solid black on clear core, you cannot cut it if it has clear acrylic. That's 16th inch, eighth inch, or quarter inch. You can't cut it, no matter how hard you try. So put that one aside. If you see clear acrylic, don't click it. Can't cut it. Same is true for blue acrylic. Um, this here is a pattern on blue. If you get it plain blue, doesn't matter. You can't cut it. Don't choose blue acrylic or blue acrylic core. I also have, if you're on the website, up at the top where it has like shop pattern ply, shop wood and acrylic, there is a button there for help center. If you click that, um, I've written a bunch of blog posts and one of those is about what you can and can't cut with a diode. So if you don't wanna, you don't wanna watch me again, um, you can just go to that quick little thing, print it out, put it with your laser uh, or your computer when you're ordering um, as a little cheat sheet, but this is just a visual so you can see. Um, can't cut blue, cannot cut turquoise. Same with can't cut it with a pattern, can't cut it with a solid color. As long as it has turquoise core, can't cut plain turquoise either. So again, even if you get solid black on a turquoise core, you cannot cut it. Same goes for pink. Now pink is a little bit of an iffy one. There are some of you who have gotten the pink to cut um, I think it's more of the higher wattage diodes and it takes multiple, multiple passes and the edges are not pretty. So in general, I say, don't even try it. It doesn't look very good. The edges get jagged. Now, some of you have done it, but, um, and, you know, sand away the edges, but I do not recommend the pink core or raw pink, pastel pink for your diode. Also true with ivory. I do not have a white here. I don't know why I don't have a white, but can't cut the ivory, cannot cut white core. Um, they're both very similar in color, so I just put them together. You cannot cut white core, cannot cut ivory. The new glitter acrylics that we have, um, whether you get them with a pattern or whether you just get them raw, you can't cut any of them. There are numerous colors. Maybe we, I forget how many colors we have. Does not matter if it's the black glitter, blue glitter, you can't cut the glitter. The base on these is clear acrylic. It's clear acrylic with glitter in it, so you cannot cut these. And lastly, so this is the bad news first. Remember, we got, we got good news coming. Um, the mirrored acrylics, same deal. Does not matter which color, does not matter if you put a solid color over it. If it is mirrored, you cannot cut it if it's mirrored acrylic. I'll talk more about that in a second. So if you see 16th inch mirrored or 8th inch mirrored, you can't cut it because it's basically just clear acrylic with a mirror um, finish on it. So that cannot be cut. That's it for the bad news. So I know, you're, I know there's a lot of these that are upsetting that you can't cut, but there are so many that you can and there are quite a few ways to work around so if you are dead set on a pattern there's a solution there's a solution it might not look exactly the way you want it, it might not be the exact way but there's the solution 
Okay, the first thing is MDF. This is plain old. If you're in the Glowforge world, this is draft board. Um, this you can cut all day long, no problem. Um, and I believe the Aura, they say you can't cut it. You can cut it, cut it. We have an Aura, we cut it fine, no problem. Um, this is for the raw MDF you can cut. You can cut any of the MDF core plywoods. So here you go, look at this. This is a finished walnut, unfinished, finished, doesn't matter. You can cut any of those because they are MDF core. Um, the same goes for pattern ply. Any of the patterns are available with an MDF core. You can cut those, cut those all day long, no problem. So stick to that MDF core and you're fine. Um, that's also true for our eco products. And that includes, do I have one here? Um, this is our eco birch as well as our eco white, eco black. Eco white is fine. You can cut that because the core is MDF. I jokingly have said this to some customers, but it's true. It's the same thing with people. It's what's on the inside that counts. And it's the same deal with diodes. Um, doesn't matter. It can be white on the surface, but if that core is MDF, you're good to go. So you can cut, you can cut the formerly smoke sub, now eco white, the, any of the eco oaks, eco birch, eco red, you can cut those. Uh, the wood veneers, they're paper thin. They have a adhesive backing, great for wood stickers. People do hat patches with these. You can cut them. No problem. Uh, black acrylic core, you're good to go. So the same deal we've offered, we, any of our scattered patterns, we now offer on any of the core types. So you can choose that black core. So you're like, ah, oh, man, I really love, it's that same, it's the same exact sheet over here. It's like, ah, oh, man, I really love those daisies. I wish I could cut those. You can, you just have to get them on the black core or the red core, or the other cores that we will discuss. You just have to play around with it and you'll find one that'll work. Um, we even have a clear workaround if you stay tuned. Um, so black core you can cut, you can cut plain black acrylic, um, no problems there. And that's in multiple thicknesses as well. Red core, you can cut this. So here's the hearts on a red core. You can cut plain red acrylic um, as well as any of the patterns on the red acrylic core. This one's crazy. This is yellow acrylic core. You can see it here on the side. This just has a pattern on it. This is the traditional Mexican floral scattered on the yellow. Really cool look and you can cut it. So any of the patterns on yellow, you're safe. Green core. So here it is raw and here it is with the snails and mushrooms. How cute is that? You can cut this. So don't, don't say you can't cut anything with a diode because there are so many possibilities. We have hundreds of patterns available on these different cores that you can cut, as well as hundreds, over 900 solid colors that you can put. Remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. So you can put, if you wanna put white on the outside on this green core, you're safe, it's good, you can cut that. So that's a, that's a workaround for you that you can do. Here's some excitement. You can cut clear flex. I know it doesn't seem like you should be able to, but you can. It's so thin that it doesn't have a problem with it. Um, this is a great way if you are dead set, you're like, oh man, I really want those daisies, but I want them clear. You can do it. You just have to change your design a little bit. So this with the eighth inch clear, a CO2 laser owner maybe would just cut a teardrop shape, put a little hole in it, be done with an earring. You might have to take it a little, little, little bit further. So because this flex is so thin, it doesn't really make the best earrings on its own. We do have customers doing it and they're beautiful. They do multiple layers of the flex to add some body. Just a single layer, it tends to get caught up and stuck all around in the wind. But if you cut your teardrop shape with this and then you take a black acrylic, just an idea, or a wood, and you cut the same teardrop, but leave, just, just use a border and put this behind it. Like think of a sun catcher, think of an ornament where it's multi-layered um, and then glue those together. Put, put your little um, hook on it. 
you have an earring with the daisies. Just a different way to do it. You're just going to have to sandwich it because it's better for layered since it's so thin, but you can do it. You can use that. It's just going to be a little bit of a different way to do it. And that's, that's totally fine. Um, you can also cut the peel and stick clear flex. I know this doesn't look clear, but it is actually optically clear as soon as I get the backer off. So you can see it's a little milky right now. Ta -da! Look how clear that is. So you can stick that to anything you like. Great for stickers. Um, if you don't want to buy, for example, if you don't want to buy this pattern on black acrylic or the green acrylic, one of the ones that you can cut, you can buy them separately and stick them together if you like to do it that way. Um, some customers prefer to do it that way, then they can take one sheet of this and put it on multiple different colors without having to buy a bunch of sheets of acrylic already made. Just an option. Um, but you can cut the clear, the peel and stick clear as well. The regular clear flex does not have adhesive on it. The peel and stick clear flex does have adhesive on it. Um, so if you are going to make something like a sun catcher or an ornament or earrings that are layered, stick with the regular clear flex, not the peel and stick clear flex, because this is just real flippy and floppy and it's got that backer on it that's going to be milky. You're going to, you're going to want to stick this to something before you would put it in a layer anyway. You might as well just get this, which has some more body to it and better for layering. You can cut white flex. Sounds like you shouldn't because you can't cut white acrylic, but you can cut white flex again because it's so thin. Um, this is available with patterns or you can also get solid color on it and you can engrave. White flex is popular for things for layering again as, and also um, bookmarks, same with clear flex. Bookmarks, you can sell them all day with this white flex or the clear flex. You can cut the peel and stick mirror. So you might not be able to get the regular mirror eighth inch sheets and we don't have more colors in this. We just have the silver, but that's okay. Um, lots of opportunities with it because we have hundreds of patterns. Um, you can cut the peel and stick mirror and then you can stick that to whatever you like. If you really wanted eighth inch mirrored earrings, go ahead, you can cut, you can cut this and then stick it to maybe the black acrylic and no one will ever know the difference because it'll look, it'll look the same. So that's a, that's a way that you can get around the fact you can't cut mirror. You can cut this peel and stick and then stick it to whatever you like, stick it to any acrylic color, stick it to wood, stick it to anything. Um, or just make stickers with it. Um, you can do that with the peel and stick mirror. You can also cut the laser safe vinyl. So this is very similar to the peel and stick clear in that it does have a backer. Same with the peel and stick mirror. There's a backer on here. Um, the big difference here between this and the clear is that this is completely opaque. So you can see this, this is the the back of this is the back of the vinyl itself it's a laser safe vinyl don't cut big true vinyl um so that is really good really malleable this is great for decals on cars tumblers anything like that um you can cut the laser safe vinyl no problem and then lastly you can cut the leather we have over a dozen raw leather colors um and you can also purchase all the patterns on leather as well, and you can cut those. Remember, it's what's on the inside that counts. So even if it's a pattern that has a lot of white in it or any of these other colors that are a big no-no, like blue, you could still cut it as long as it's on the right core material. And that core is what you choose on the product page. So if you go to an item and you'll see, um, what is this copper swirls if you go to copper swirls you're going to see all these different choices on there but it says material that is your core material so if you choose black acrylic for example it'll be this pattern on black acrylic you can engrave it away to show the black um if you choose leather then it will be your pattern on a white leather but you can still cut the white leather so don't worry about that um and so there's there's hundreds thousands of opportunities um, with your diode. So don't be discouraged. I know that a lot of people get them and then they get discouraged seeing the clear and saying, I can't cut this, I can't cut this. And it seems like I can't cut anything, but there's a whole world of possibilities. Um, and if one day you do switch over to a CO2, 
then you could cut those. But even if you never do, there are still so many ways for you to make money and grow your business with your diode laser, with the materials that we have that you can cut. So don't get too discouraged. Sun catchers, ornaments, earrings, all of that you can cut and um, really have a successful business. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful for everyone, especially you new diode owners. Um, congratulations. And let us know what else you would like to see. Thank you so much.